I'm going to show you how to download the correct drivers for your sublimation printers. And the printers that I'm going to be using um, are the Epson ET4700 and the Epson ET2720. These are the exact same printers except the ET2720 prints 8.5 by 11 or up to 8.5 by 11 and the ET4700 prints up to 8.5 by 14. So I use the exact same settings for both. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I've gone on Google and I already have it typed in here. I just type in Epson ET2720 printer drivers. It's going to be this first one here. We're going to click on that. That's going to pull up the, the Epson website. And this is the correct printer. The one that I have is in white. Um, that doesn't make any difference at all. If it's white or black, whatever color printer. It's the ET2720. And like I said, these are the exact same directions for the ET4700 as well. And probably for the 1500, uh, 15,000 printer as well. It's the, the larger Epson one. Um, but those are super hard to find. <laughs> those are pretty much always sold out. So, anyways, we're going to scroll down here. You want the drivers and utilities combo. We're going to go here and download. It's going to take a couple seconds. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to, this is what it looks like when I pull it up. So I'm going to double, it's just over here in my downloads. I went to, I have a MacBook, so I went over here to Finder, to my downloads, and it should be right here, ET2720 Lite. Double click on that. I can minimize Google here. And I can actually close this out. Okay. So this is what it comes up as. So you're going to double, double click that, bring it up. And yes, I want to open it. Okay, so you're just going to basically go step by step on here. You click continue, scroll through this. Yes, agree. You don't have to download the photo scan. I don't think I did that the first time. I think I just did the driver's utilities. So I'm just not going to download those. That's up to y'all. Um, you really need the drivers and utilities. So we're going to, I'm just going to check that one and click install. This is completely up to you whether you want to do this or not. I don't. So it's going to take a few minutes. It's going to go ahead and download that software. Actually, it's super quick. Okay. All right. So that's already done. It says start to begin the setup, so we press start. Okay, so when you first get your printer, it's going to walk you through the steps. Um, so you really need to do the, the chart, basically it's called charging your ink. Um, you need to do that first before you do this. Um, your printer will walk you through it, or you can walk through it here. It's basically loading your ink first and letting your printer take in the ink, recognize it, and do it all the little settings it needs to do. Um, so I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and click that. That's done. So you make sure you do that first, and then you can continue with the drivers. Um, I want the wireless. This is completely up to you at home. Mine's already connected, and it should recognize it, and then start network setup. And this should take a couple minutes. And okay, so on this part, this is super important. So you're going to click on add add printer, and you're going to find your printer. I'm using the 2720 for this, and down here, always want to make sure you want to click on the Epson ET2720 series, okay, when you're using this, because this is going to put whatever drivers that you just downloaded to that printer. Um, so that's what we want. So we're going to click on the Epson ET2720 series, and everything's going to go on that printer that needs to be on that printer. Click Add. Um, yes, I'm just, I already have it installed, but I'm just doing this to show you, so... You should not ask that. And then we're going to click continue. Now, if you have two printers, 
two of the same printers, which I do for my 4700, um, it should ask you that question. You know, it's going to say, hey, this printer's already installed. Do you want to install another one? And you're just going to click yes like I did. All right, so I've already set all this up. This is good. So you'll do a test print, make sure it's working correctly. And then the product registration, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Skip all this. Okay. So we're done with here. So your drivers are now correctly installed. So you want to make sure your settings are correct. So this is just a design that I created earlier today. And I'm going to show you how to print this correctly. So the settings that I'm going to go over are to get the correct colors and um, brightness to your image. Um, you want the best quality, obviously. You know, you're going to be selling either the transfers or the, the shirts or just making it, you know, to look good. So the way I'm going to set up these settings, um, I use Silhouette Studio. Different people use different programs. I know there's a bunch out there. I prefer Silhouette Studio for my printing. And I do have the Designer Edition, which is a fee. But it's a one-time fee. I think it's like $99. Um, but, you know, it pays for itself pretty much. I mean, you can create so much stuff in here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to print this. I'm going to do Command P. And it is on my MacBook, so that's going to take me right to print. Okay, and then we're going to hit print. Okay, so earlier when it said, you know, do, there's already a printer installed. Do you want to install another printer? And I clicked yes, so it duplicated my printers. So this is okay because, like I said, I have the 4700. I have two of those actually running and printing. So this is basically one and two. Um, so these are two separate printers. So it's okay if you have multiples. If you want to, you can rename them. This is my extra printer that is a different Epson. And I just renamed it Sublimation 3, so I know it's different. Um, but, I mean, you can go in and label them however you want to. So this is our new one we just installed. So all of our drivers are installed. So it should come up as default settings. So what we're going to do is come down here to Layout. And Layout is perfectly fine. Don't touch that. You're going to go to Color Matching, and you're going to make sure Epson Controls, Color Controls are selected. And Paper Handling is fine. You don't have to change anything on that. Um, the co cover page, there's nothing on there you need to do. This is the magic button. <laughs> this is where you want to change everything. So under the print settings, media type, you're going to go to presentation paper mat. You can play around and do different ones if you want, but this is what I use and I have great quality prints. It basically shows, you know, it shows the true colors as it prints out. It doesn't make it different. Um, it's it's very true to what you have on your screen. And it doesn't have a lot of printers um, when you print. Like, for, when, for instance, when I use this and I print, my ink dries appropriately to how it prints. So some sublimation printers, when the ink dries, it doesn't dry quick enough. And you're going to end up with ink on your rollers. And then it causes a big mess and messes up your transfers. So this, I found, also dries quicker. And it, it's basically dry as soon as it prints out. So you're going to select presentation paper mat. And I always just choose my quality to high quality. And this is the main thing too, is mirror image. So anytime you're printing something to put on a t-shirt, especially if it has words, um, you want to mirror that. So it's going to print out backwards where you cannot read it until it's pressed. Then when it's on the shirt, you're going to be able to read it correctly. So make sure that's checked and then that's all for the settings for this you'll do presentation paper mat high quality and mirror image then we're going to go to color options and I always do manual settings and then click on advanced settings and then this is what you want as well so you have the option to do Epson Vivid or Adobe RGB I do Adobe RGB and you're going to leave the gamma at 2.2 and this kind of just basically is a standard across the board um, for the color matching. So that's what you'll need for that. And then that's all. Then you have your supply levels, which um, if you install everything correctly, these certain printers here actually do a great job on keeping up when your ink gets low. So it'll alert you. As long as you reset it correctly every time, it should show you the correct supply levels. But yeah, that's, that's all you need. You do the print settings and the color options. So remember print settings, you want to do media type, presentation paper mat, 
print quality, high quality, and make sure you mirror that image. And then color options, manual, advance, Adobe RGB, and 2.2. And that's it, guys. That's that simple. Then you're going to print it and put it on your shirt. And um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing different videos with sublimation. Um, I try to post once a week. I've been a little lazy with it lately, but I'm going to get on it, I promise. Um, so we're going to try to do different sublimation tutorials and fun stuff with that. So, all right, guys, if you like this, please subscribe. Have a good day.